Hi there guys, we're up here in Zuland this afternoon. It's a beautiful day and we're preparing for a night session and the water looks absolutely stunning for fish like sandies and honeycombs. So I thought while well, we've got a bit of chance, we've got some sunlight to burn, the tide's dropping, it's not ready yet. I'm going to show you guys a bait that I'm going to use tonight to target the honeycomb and hopefully catch one. It's a very simple mackerel bait. It's one that I've used before in Zuland on the north coast and it's worked for me. So show you guys and hopefully you can catch some honeycombs on the same bait. Alright, so all we need is one nice fresh mackerel. I always say make sure your bait's fresh, especially when you're coming up to Zuland. There's crystal clean water, fish are fussy, they want fresh bait. It's absolutely pointless coming with old bait. You must probably gonna catch nothing. So make sure you get some fresh bait from a bait supplier. And as I said, for this specific bait, one mackerel only. Alright, so we're going to take our dingle, put it on our mackerel. The way I've built this dingle is that it's long enough that I cut the mackerel exactly in half. Because that's what you need for this bait. So we mark it, it's about halfway through there, and cut our mackerel in half. Alright, as usual, we're going to take our knife and just trim the back end a bit. That's for aerodynamics, when it's flying through the air. So your bait gets a bit more distance. Alright, so our head section is ready. In our tail section, we're just going to cut it in half from the top. So just cut it along the spine, right through, split it open, and cut the little tail piece off. And I'm just going to break the spine with the knife. Give it a few more cuts through, open it up. The same with that one. So that's our bait ready to go. So we're going to take our bait needle now and put our dingle through the head. It's quite important, make sure you get your dingle in the center along the spine. Or else it won't fly straight through the air. So that looks quite straight clip on our dingle and pull it through. Alright, so the hook that I really like to use for sandies and honeys and those type of fish is the owner inline circle. It's a very nice hook for me. I don't miss fish on it, so one of my favorite hooks. As you can see, I've got a piece of steel on here. Just a little bite, or it's quite a long bite. And the reason for that is that we're in Zululand and there's definitely blackfin around. So you obviously don't want to miss a blackfin when he picks you up. So we've got that bit of protection for in case a blackfin comes and grabs the bait. All right, so let's just attach our hook. Okay, so we put the hook through the bottom lip. Get through our dingle. Through the top lip. Make sure dingle's attached, it's all secure. And I'm just going to take a bit of cotton and wrap it around the mouth area there. So if, when we cast, that our bait doesn't come off the hook. It's a little bit around the back end, all the guts in. And that's it, there it's on. So what we're going to do next is take one of the cutlets. The one with the spine on, I like to put on meat side out like that. And then we're just going to cotton that on. So the one side's done, turn our bait around and then I'll take the other side and I'll put it skin side up. So it locks that flavor in and we're going to cotton that on as well.
Right, finish it off. And that's our potential honeycomb bait done. That's it. Nice and aerodynamic. It can fly well. It's got a lot of flavor on the one side, the flavor locked in on the other side. So if your bait lies for long, it's got that flavor releasing slowly on the side there. And let's hope that's going to produce a honeycomb. Let's hope this is our target species, the honeycomb. We spoke about the bait, we showed you guys it, we chose our water, and this feels like a good fish. We built the bait earlier, we spoke about where we were going to catch it and everything worked out perfectly for us. We casted our bait in the right area and here's the result. Nice honey close to 70 kilos, super chuffed. My favorite battalion rod, the slammer did the job. Good fight and I really enjoyed that. Okay, and get this beauty back in the water. We took him yet. Take a quick measure. 